Hello, my name is Christina Sadie, and I'm here to present my capstone PowerPoint presentation on the Florida Department of Economics. Introduction. Florida Department of Economics provides provide new opportunity and resources for Florida families that require assistance in collaboration with the Department of Children and Families. Individuals with little or no experience, independent contractors, and self-employed people can benefit from the program like the Federal Epidemic Unemployment Compensation Program and the Reemployment Assurance Program under the CARES Act. Moreover, it has introduced PUA. PUA stands for Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, a, a new form of short-term unemployment assistance insurance for people who cannot work due to COVID-19 illnesses and are not qualified for conventional unemployment compensation. Background and history. Let's discuss background and history of the department. Florida Department of Economic Opportunity is a public sector organization working to develop the vision of the economic prosperity in Florida by assisting the governor and his administrative works. It was established in October 2011 by merging the three previously existing administrative entities, namely the Governor Office of Tourism, Trade, Trade and Economic Development, the, the, the Department of Community Affairs, and the Agency for Workforce Innovation. The mission of the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity is multifaceted, addressing the state gains, community development, and simultaneously, the D the DEO aims to combine the private and public sectors for mode, for mutual gains and prosperity of the general public. Response to COVID nineteen pandemic. Now, now I will discuss the response to the COVID-19. Florida Department of Economic Opportunity has managed to be efficient in response to the natural emergency conditions. Continued assistance acts, the continued assistance acts care extension was immediately implemented across, the, across Florida on December 27, 2020, in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. The DEO established the, legis the legislation regarding coping the loss of economic fall and community collapse by promoting federal and independent assistance programs. The provision of the unemployment benefits and the reemployment assistance was, was formatted and implemented effectively. Corona coronavirus aid relief and economic security, the CARES Act, provided two major assistance programs, Federal Epidemic Unemployment Compensation Program and the Reemployment Assurance Program. Strengths of DEO Florida. There are many strengths of the department. It made a significant and important improvements to the unemployment assurance system and the payroll assistance programs for small companies. It developed a new pandemic unemployment assistance program system, which benefits which benefits agility to those or those who like self-employed employees or freelancers who have fallen between gaps of current parsimonious UI systems. It was its PUA program co covered 100% of pay replacements for the poorest half of the workforce. The status quo therefore abolished. The status quo therefore abolished. It permitted dis displaced workers to obtain benefits if their place of employment had had closed owing to COVID-19. In addition to their regular payouts, it offered a one-time benefit to household of $1,200 per adult and $500 per kid. These payments were beneficial to families, partially to those who fall between the cracks of other forms of assistance. Weaknesses of the DEO Florida. In addition to strengths, some weaknesses are also present. The largest individual chunk of money in the package is a massive pool of money intended for industrial industrial bailouts, but with no safeguards to guarantee that the state money is focused on rescuing average people jobs, salaries, and benefits rather than investors' riches. 
financiers, and corporate leaders. Instead of the tough and clear regulations that the CARES Act established an, an, an inspector general and oversight committee to ensure accountability. The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity is not creating triggers to ensure that the relief is recovering funding flow as long as the, epi, as long as the economic conditions permit. Time-based assistance makes no sense, especially, especially in such an unpredictable economic shock as the current one. Recommendations for the DEO Florida. I would like I would like to make some recommendations for the department. A should continue to come as long as the assistance is required and the economics re remains weak. Triggers for accountability should be changed. Instead of unemployment rates, the triggers and boundaries for help should be based on work hours and work nature. There should be there should there should be a hard and fast rules for accountability of the funds flowing and ensure of the full proof system with zero cooperation. Corruption. In conclusion, the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity is a public sector institution that assists the governor and his administration to create a vision of economic development in Florida. The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity has a broad goal that includes both state and community development. The Florida De Department of Economic Opportunity has proven to be effective in, respond in responding to natural disasters. In, in the COVID-19 pandemic, the CARES Act extension was promptly de deployed across Florida. In Florida, the CARES Act of the Department of Economic Opportunity de decreased economic welfare shortfalls by around 20% on the average without raising death rates. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great one.